The U.S. Youth Soccer Program is a nonprofit and educational organization whose mission is to be the future of soccer and provide a path for every player. Recently, they held their National President's Cup at Siegel Soccer Park in Murfreesboro. This tournament hosted 48 teams from all over the country, such as South Dakota, New York, and California. For this, it's a little different. Uh, we actually had a bid on this about two or three years ago. Uh, so I'm actually the chair of this tournament for uh, the local side of it. So the local chair. So I came up and got with the two local um, soccer uh, organizations and we got together. They are providing all the volunteers and stuff. So I head that up and I work very closely with Will with US Youth Soccer about getting those opening ceremonies and the facility ready for this. The winners of state events go to a regional event. The winners of the regional events come here to the national event. There's four regions in USU soccer. There's east, west, south, and midwest. And they play three days of round robin. And the top two teams play in the championship game on Sunday. And the, uh, the other two teams play in the third place game on Sunday. So we, we get compliments about the grass, the play of field. Um, you know, sometimes they'll want, like, hey, can we have more stands and stuff? And we, we try to compliment on the stands part of it. Mur Murfreesboro has been an absolute gem to work with. Uh, I, I can't say enough about the, the, the local organizing committee here, the Parks and Rec people, Brittany, John. I've met so many other people that can't even remember their names. But they've done a fantastic job. These fields are in pristine condition. Um, you know, we say jump and they say how high. Um, you know, you see, you've looked around the facility here and you see all the, the banners and the tents and the, and the flags and, and it's just exciting to see. We, we worked with Murfreesboro there that we put out a request for proposal. I think there were six or seven possible re responses to that. Um, they're all evaluated and Murfreesboro came out on top. You know, there, there's two things really that soccer tournaments really to be successful need. Number one is, is hotels and local amenities, and number two is fields and, and, and facilities there, the bathrooms and the, the concessions and that kind of stuff. And, and Murfreesboro checked both those boxes very easily. We absolutely get feedback. The, 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 the four, there's four regional chairs that are also on my committee, and they, they get feedback directly from their teams. And believe me, if there's an issue, you know, this is, this is an expensive tournament for, for families to go to. It's, they're spending a week away from home, and, you know, they may have planned family vacations that they have to, has to postpone, or this becomes their family vacation. So if there's something that's not right, they're certainly going to let us know very quickly. Soccer is absolutely growing in popularity. The, 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 the recent Women's World Cup win is really going to boost uh, a, a lot of young ladies trying to play soccer, um, and that bodes well for the future, youth soccer. We are thrilled to be here, uh, definitely enjoying the experience, and this is day one of four. We're, we're uh, looking forward to three more days. The weather is holding out today, you know, and a nice, nice little cloud cover is keeping the temperatures down a little bit, so it's been a fantastic experience so far and looking forward to the next three days.